Tesla and NEO ended year 2020 with a big bang. Tesla has over 750% gain, while NEO has over 1,100 gain. Will they continue their run in 2021? So in this video, I will talk about the news catalyst that would drive up the prices for Tesla and NEO. Provide your price prediction and if they're both a buy. So stay tuned, you might like what I have in store for you. Hi, this is Anthony and this is Quantum Finance Channel. I'm an engineer, data analyst, turned entrepreneur, and investor. In this channel, I discuss about stock investment, particularly I talk about high growth stock and disruptive technology stocks. I have a master's degree in engineering management and data analytics. Over the years, I've created many predictive models for Fortune 500 companies, um, ranging from supply chain to sales analysis using historical to predict future movement. So I thought those skill sets are applicable in stock prediction and, and therefore I'm creating my own algorithm to predict certain stock price movement. So far I've been very successful in my own portfolio and I thought I'd like to share my skill set and my knowledge to everyone on this channel. So enjoy. Dan Lovey of Credit Suisse and Dan Ive of Wetwood Securities think Tesla will report fourth quarter sales record of about 183,000 vehicles hitting the 500,000 vehicle guidance to end year 2020. This is a 31% sequential growth and a 63% growth over deliveries year over year. This is only speculation as the data needs to be confirmed by Tesla when it reports its Q4 results by late January or early February 2021. Analysts had voiced confidence of continued growth in China, Europe, and USA. According to Reuters, Tesla has signed a massive deal with China's Sichuan Yahua Industrial Group company to supply battery-grade lithium hydroxide for the next five years. This is to lock up lithium battery supplies to maintain its competitive advantage as it ramps up its production targets. This makes sense for Tesla to maintain its tight control of lithium supply chain, which is key ingredient for its battery instead of just relying on third-party suppliers. Tesla is working with LG Chem and Panasonic to produce its batteries, but sources stated that they would not have enough capacity to support its production plan. Tesla is expected to produce 1 million cars by end of 2022 with its four factories in Fremont, California, Shanghai, China, Berlin, Germany, and Austin, Texas. Also recently, Tesla has announced that it will expand its market into India. India's government confirmed that Tesla is set to make its debut in India in early 2021 with the launch of its Model 3. Indian government, like Chinese government, is working to reduce its dependent on foreign oil and to reduce its carbon emission by 30 to 35 percent by 2030 by transitioning into the EV market. The government intends to kickstart an era of EVs by electrifying 30 percent of its private cars, 7 percent of commercial cars, 40 percent of buses, and 80 percent of the two and three wheelers by 2030. Like China, it has initiated favorable incentive aimed to boost growth of the EV market. However, the concern for India's market is its poor infrastructure of charging station networks. Currently, there are only about 250 charging stations in the entire India country. This might be a limitation factor for its EV growth story. Second, India government mandates that Tesla source 30% of its components locally. Note that this cannot be achieved if there are no qualified Indian suppliers. Third, limited market for luxury price EV entry. India is dominated by the more budget-friendly Tata Nexium EV, MG ZS EV, and the Hyundai Kona EVs. Tesla does have fans in India and will succeed long-term. Just don't expect an instant success for Tesla overnight in India. Third in news, Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai update. Many analysts now believe that Tesla is achieving better gross margin with Model 3 vehicles built at the Gigafactory in Shanghai than the factory in Fremont. Tesla's Vice President of China Tao Lin stated that Tesla managed to optimize the local sourcing of parts and reduce the price of its Model 3 vehicles in China. However, he stated, quote, Tesla's goal of localization rate has been basically achieved and it is unlikely that prices will continue to be reduced in the future. If the price of raw materials or parts rises in the future, Tesla electric vehicles are not without the possibility of price increases, unquote. 
China is an important market for Tesla, accounting for 40% of its sales, and they're selling about 10,000 vehicles per month in China. Note that Tesla is investing heavily to grow its supercharger network in China to compete against homegrown players such as NIO and Xpeng. Let's take a look at the one-year chart of Tesla. Since the inclusion in the 500 S&P has come down and bounced off the 616 support line, since then it has created a new upward trend channel. Looking at the MACD, it's about to cross. RSI is rising and volume slightly increased. If this continues next week, I predict that it will be a bullish week next week, hitting a target of $750 to $800. Looking at the daily chart, as you can see today it started out, uh, came down a little bit and spiked up to about $718 range, traded sideways for a while, and then sell off toward the end of the day. It did rebound a little bit and has settled at 705-ish range in the after hours. AD Power has recently ranked Tesla behind NEO in terms of quality. It's no surprise that NEO has been working real hard trying to beat Tesla in the quality game. That's the only way it can succeed. It has to be better than Tesla. Tesla is king of the EV market. Let's take a look at the one-year chart of NEO stock. As you can see, it has been trading sideways in a range between $41 to $53. Just recently, it has been creating a new upward trend channel. I, I do believe that it has reversed. It did break out the support line of $46.50. Looking at the MACD, it's about to cross. RSI also is rising and volume's been steady. And again, it, if the volume and everything continue to run in the direction that it is right now, I do predict that going to NEO day, it will hit about $65 to $70 range. Look at the one day chart. It started out with a slight dip and bounced back up to $50 range. And it has came down to about 48 and trading sideways, yo-yoing back and forth, um, and ended the day at $48. After hours has been pretty stable at $48.88. In my prior video, I made a prediction for NEO to hit 50 to 55 by end of the year. Today it did hit about 50-50 at the high, but then close at about $48.88. Going into next week, I do predict that it will continue its run and reach about $65 to $70 range by NEO day. And I still hold that prediction. I do believe that there's a lot of catalysts that will help drive up the price come the first week of January, which is the December sales data. In summary, in my opinion, I do believe that Tesla and NEO are both a buy even at this lofty price. This is more of a long-term investment. Um, it will continue to grow in 2021 with the catalyst of the number of cars that uh, Tesla is gonna be producing out of its four factories in Giga Berlin, Giga Shanghai, Giga Austin, and Fremont. Um, they're predicted that it'll reach one million car by end of 2022. As for NEO, I do believe that they will continue to increase their production capacity to meet the ever-increasing demand of their EV cars in China and as they expand into European market. Recently, the Chinese government and the Europeans have signed an agreement on a trade deal. If you made this far in the video, thank you. Please help us grow the channel by hitting the subscribe button below, like, share, and comment below. Really appreciate it. Also, I'd like to wish you a happy new year and may 2021 be an awesome investment year for you and everyone.